So what do you think about our maths teacher? Oh, I really don't like my maths teacher. She's so boring. She just stands at the front of the classroom and talks and talks and talks, and we never get to do the maths. Um, what do you think about our history teacher? Oh, I love Mrs. Fitzgerald. She's such a good teacher. I just, I want to go to her class. I enjoy being in her classroom. The way she tells stories is just, in, oh, it's amazing. It's fascinating. She's, she absolutely captures the attention of every student in that room. Maybe a lot of vocabulary there you don't know. Um, good luck to my Chinese staff at Gate. Um, putting the subtitles in. I hope you understand everything I'm saying as well. Um, some good English practice for the staff in my school. If you live in Weihai and you want a job and you want to practice some English, you know, maybe we're hiring people. We're off, we're off usually a few times over the year we're looking for some Chinese staff. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on to the next topic. Homework, yay! Oh, not yay? Oh, sorry. Ooh, I know, homework. Every student in China, when you think of homework, you're like, oh, you want to lie down in a ball and cry like a baby. But unfortunately, homework is a big part of learning and education. So um, generally with your classmates in school, you're going to talk about your homework. So one common question you might have, oh, have you finished the homework yet? Oh, no, I haven't finished it yet. I went to the park with my friends to play soccer all day yesterday. So have you finished it yet? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. And normally you say, oh, yes, I have. I finished it last night. Or no, I haven't. I haven't finished it because I was doing this yesterday. Or I have been doing this. Or maybe you get out of class and you're like, um, um, mate, mate, what was the homework for today? Because, I don't know, in your school, does your teacher give you the homework or do they tell you the homework? Sometimes they'll just tell you what to do. Um, that's more maybe for older students, not younger students, maybe university students. Um, so what was the homework for today? You might ask this to a classmate just because you need to be clear about the homework. Oh, we had to write 100,000 words about tables. Probably most assignments in university are 2,000 words. For a basic assignment, maybe 5,000 words for a more serious assignment. Okay, how long did you spend on your homework last night? So this is something I know a lot of students um, I've spoken to might talk about. Oh, I spent four hours on my homework yesterday. <laughs> four hours? <laughs> I spent five hours on my homework only five hours? I spent six hours on my homework. No, it's not something you want to be proud of, but I've had students argue about this in my classroom. I did more homework than you. I did more homework than you. And another question might be, how are you going with the homework? Meaning, are you doing well? Have you done most of it? Have you almost finished it? So how are you going with the science homework? How are you going with your English homework? Um, to answer this, you might say, well, oh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with it, to be honest. I don't suppose you could give me some help. No, I can't. Maybe you ask your classmate for help. Or, oh, yeah, actually, I finished it. It was pretty easy, I think. So maybe it was very easy, it was a bit difficult, or maybe you're having trouble with that homework. Alrighty, another topic. Now we're going right back down to generally high school, middle school. Now, okay, and universities still have sports equipment and sports facilities. However, in this picture, this is a playground. Okay, very important thing. Many, many Chinese students say, are university students, oh, I like to play in the playground. This is a playground. For little children to play on. If it's a place where you run around in circles and maybe play soccer in the middle, that's not a playground. That's a sports field or a soccer field. Um, so this is a playground. 
So think about that. What sports facilities does your school have? Does it have a basketball court, a football or soccer field? Does it have volleyball courts, ping pong tables? Does it have a gym? Does it have a shower and changing rooms? In America, this is very common in high school. Um, to have a shower where the children will play sport, go and have a shower and get changed into their school clothes and go back to class. Um, we don't do this in Australia. Uh, what was your playground like in primary school? Now, I've been to a few primary schools in China and they're usually pretty boring. Um, this is what we would call the playground equipment or play equipment. Um, so in most primary schools in Australia, there will be a play area. And yes, it can be a little bit dangerous and sometimes children fall off and hurt themselves. But that's about growing up. Um, so did you have this kind of equipment in your school? And what kind of equipment do you think a good school should have? So what other equipment? So maybe a basketball court, soccer field, ping pong tables, volleyball courts. Maybe you also want a computer, a good computer lab where you have lots of computers you can go and work on. A science lab or laboratory. So for your science classes, your science teacher can use the equipment in the laboratory for you and your classmates to do experiments. Um, and maybe some other equipment. Now, one thing that is very important for most schools is the food. Um, now, I've been in some schools in China where the canteen food was terrible, but I've heard from some of my students that their school has very good food. So a couple of words, first of all, canteen and cafeteria. So first of all, canteen is used in Australia. Um, I think it might also be used in the UK, whereas cafeteria, I believe, is more American. So a cafeteria is different to a cafe. A cafe is where you go and have a coffee and, or tea and sit and have a drink and talk to your friends outside of school. Um, a cafeteria is something in a company or a school with a very, 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 very big room, like in this picture, and you go and get your food, you put it on a tray, and you go and find a table to sit at. Um, a canteen is similar, but in Australia, generally we don't, a canteen is just like a small window. You go and buy your food and then you go and sit down somewhere around the school. It doesn't have lots of big seating areas. It will have some, but it's not as big as a cafeteria that you see on American television or I have seen in China. So what kind of food does your school's canteen sell? So from what most of my students I've spoken to in China would say, they say, well, usually every day they will serve rice and bread with a choice of different meat and vegetables every day. So maybe one day they will have chicken legs and sweet and sour pork, tang uh, su li ji. Um, and then the next day, maybe they will have beef and potato or fish. So every day they have different meat and usually two or three different vegetables. Now in Australian canteens, they kind of just sell the same food every day. They might sell some chicken nuggets, which is just small pieces of fried chicken. Um, you know, they will sell some chips, they will sell some sandwiches, they will sell burgers, they will sell meat pies and hot dogs. So some of the food in schools in Australia is pretty unhealthy. Do you like the food at your school? Um, well, I can't remember my school from a long time ago. The, my university in Australia, their food is very expensive. So I almost never eat um, the food at the university here. In fact, what I do is almost every day I make myself a sandwich. This is my sandwich. I have some meat, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and cheese. Cheap, healthy, and easy to make in the morning. So actually, sandwiches are probably one of the most common lunch foods um, for students in Australia. 
Um, so what do you usually eat for lunch? Me, I normally have a sandwich and some fruit every day for lunch. I mean like six days a week, I will have that. And usually one day a week, I will go out and eat some nice food in a restaurant. All righty, different subjects. So first of all, have a look at all of these subjects and let me know, do you know these subjects? So I'm sure all of you know English. We have geography is studying of maps um, and places, directions, mountains, rivers. History is studying the past and different things that happened in the past. PE stands for physical education. I love PE. I always loved PE. I um, was always pretty good at most sports. IT is information technology, basically computers. Music, art, Chinese, of course, Chinese is for my Chinese students. If you are Italian, you studied Italian. If you're German, you studied German. Um, you studied your language plus a, maybe a foreign language. Uh, in science, we have the three main subjects of chemistry, biology, and physics. But if you go to university, maybe you are studying a different science subject or a more detailed science subject. So which subjects did you like best? My favorite subjects were history, PE, and English. Now, I'm not going to go on to explain. We've already talked a little bit about that earlier. Um, so what do you study in these subjects? Um, chemistry, well, biology and physics, and that's quite complicated, so I'm not going to go into that. Now, in PE class, generally in Australian schools, like high schools, you'll have a specific sport. So every day of the week, say Wednesday is your PE day, you'll join the soccer team or the basketball team or the uh, swimming team in summer or the volleyball team and you'll go and play each week against other schools or if you're not in a school team against your other classmates and the sport will change from summer to winter. And final topic and we're moving up into university. So in high school we have homework. In university we don't really say homework, we say assignments. So from my university, every, every subject normally has three, three things we have to do. One is maybe a final exam, and there will be two assignments. And they might be worth like 30%, 40%, 30%, or 30, 30, 40. So the assignments are usually worth between 25 and 40% of the course. So one of my assignments might be to work with a group of my classmates to create a whole program of teaching for maths or teaching for English. And we have to make maybe 10 lessons over the course of two weeks and what we're going to teach and why we're going to use this to teach. So every week my classmates ask us each other, we go, oh, how are you going with the assignment? Same as before with the homework question. Oh, I'm doing very well. Oh, I haven't started it yet. <coughs> What did you write about in the essay? So for example, in one of my subjects, we have to write an essay on something to do with sociology in school. So we might talk about poor areas of schooling or indigenous people. That's people that are the Aboriginal, the original Australians that were here before the white man came and killed most of them. So I'm writing an essay about the teaching of Aboriginal students in um, Australian schools for my topic. Normally for an essay, you get to choose your topic. So you might have an assignment for yourself. You might have an essay and often you will have group assignments in, our, in Western countries, very, very common in Australia. Every class will have a group assignment. So you have to break up the group assignment. You must, okay, uh, Tom, you do this bit. I'll do this bit. And Lisa, you do this bit. So you divide it you maybe have a meeting, you talk about it for an hour, you go away for a week, you do your work, you come back, you put your stuff together, and then you maybe go away, do some more work, come back together, and agree on how to finish the assignment. Another question, lots of people ask me because I'm very organized. Oh, Gavin, uh, when's the biology assignment due? And I'll check on my computer or phone. Uh, it's due in, oh, tonight. Tonight! Ah! And they run out of the room to go and finish their assignment. I'm one of those people that always finishes my work early. 
Um, so a lot of my classmates are the opposite. They always finish their homework as late as possible. Okay, well, I think that's all we're talking about for today. As always, thank you very much for listening. Send your questions to us and I will see you very shortly because I will start making the next video in about five minutes. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.